I'm Mrs Davis. In this video I'm going to be reading an extract from Pog by Padre Kenny, published 2019 by Chicken House. Let's begin. Prologue. It was night when Pog heard weeping in the forest. He'd been patrolling for an hour and the only sounds had been the occasional cries of foxes or the low hooting of owls. Pog sniffed the air. There was a scent, human scent. Pog followed the smell. He skipped over tree roots, his eyes finely attuned to the night, his furry ears twitching as he got closer to the sound. It was coming from the trees encircling the dark, forbidden heart of the forest. Pog's hackles immediately stood on end. He paced back and forth fretfully, listening to the weeping before plunging into the undergrowth. Pog peeped out from behind a bush and into the circular clearing which was dotted with stunted tree trunks. There was a human child sitting on one of the old stumps, a girl with dark, curly hair. She was sobbing inconsolably into her hands. Pog recognised her instantly and nodded in understanding. He'd already seen her with the tall ones that very morning. They'd arrived at the house in their metal box on wheels. This was something entirely new for Pog. He was used to protecting and patrolling, not coming across the children of tall ones crying in the forest. He didn't know what to do. He didn't want to reveal himself, but the girl was clearly lost. What to do, what to do, he thought, chewing on his thumb. The decision was made for him as he saw the girl suddenly look up towards the ancient twisted tree that lay at the centre of the clearing. It was as if she'd heard something. She stood up, frowning curiously at the tree, and then started to walk carefully towards it. Psst! No! Pog hissed, drawing his sword and staff without thinking. The girl wheeled round. Who's that? Who's there? Pog hid behind the bush, his chest tight, muscles tensed. A friend, he said. Is you lost? The girl wiped her eyes and nodded. Yes, she whimpered. Come then, and Pog will show you the way home. The girl hunched her shoulders and didn't move. Behind her, a sliver of moonlight shone on the tree, and the black bark rippled for a moment, as if a serpent were twisting beneath it. Pog smelt something fetid and rotten. He licked his lips. He needed to get the girl away from the tree, but he couldn't reveal himself. It was forbidden. That's all for now. If you'd like to read Pog by Padre Kenny, it's in my library at school, or you can buy it on Amazon or Waterstones Online. Happy reading!